Hello all fishing lovers you can find fishing videos on this channel related to fishing, fishing tips, fishing techniques, base fishing, tuna fishing, fishing traps in bottle, fishing traps for river, fishing traps for sea, fishing traps for ocean, catching big fish, big fish traps, catching tuna, fishing in the dark, eel fishing and all videos related to fishing and how to catch a fish. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here. And scroll release. Like you're in here. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. Over there. And I'm over there. <laughs> Those look pretty big. I know. That's what we're saying. They were pretty big. Yeah, you'd you bust them, you'd be like, oh, these ain't very Okay. <laughs> big ones must have made it to the top. <laughs> big ones. <laughs> I mean, there's probably some decent sized crawfish. Yeah. yeah. That one looks pretty big there, too. <laughs> I saw that I could cook a few of them. Everybody's asking me, are you going to eat them? I said, no, you're going to the pond. There you go. I told him. Don't leave. Bubba, but he had a thousand I'll take you. I was telling him. The easiest thing to do is, is just throw them out around the boat where you're going to dump them out. Uh -huh. Just like it. If you wanted to, cut your bag open. Mm -hmm. And they'll climb out. Just, Unless you um, want to just cut them with a stump. I always just dump them right on the edge. I'll dump them way out in the middle. Yeah, just dump them in the water or on the land? Just right on the edge. Okay. Yeah. In the grass, they'll find their way to the water. Okay. And, and leave this open any? Do I need to leave that open any? Where you? Uh, take me about 45 minutes to get there. The most is maybe cracked. Out, okay. So. I'm trying to figure out where is the best place to put them. Should have bought a weed whacker. Took care of some of this grass. Maybe we'll go right there. So supposedly 100 pounds in here. <coughs> Good spot right there is a little baby bass right there. About three inches long, falling by a couple of rim. So I've got him here in the shade. Alright, there's the three sacks crawls. Look like they're moving around pretty good. We're gonna cut the sack and let them go and see if they forge into the pond. Damaging him. And he got the claws out. Oh, that's kind of all the way cut. There we go. And the scrawl release. Oh, yeah, that's the last one. Yeah, you're a nice one. There's probably gonna be some dead ones up in here. Let go of each other. There you go. Go free. Go free. Yeah, you look like supper. Oh, you're definitely a supper right there. Oh my goodness, you're a monster boo. I'll give you a little assist up here. Get all these fellas out. Stand there, I'm with you. Let go. We're gonna beat. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if y'all can see the mass quandary of crawls. But it is incredible. There's all the crawls in here. Now, what are you doing over here? Hmm? 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 Over there. Let's dig out a couple more big ones. You look like a male. Uh, you're definitely an eater. You look like you're an eater. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you. Get over there. Yeah, come on. That's how you grab my foot. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Crawley? Here you are. Come over here. There, I got you now. I ain't from behind. Let go of that stick. There we go. Let's see how many we got. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, can you see that? That is some wild looking stuff right there. You can get up on watching the 
get all the fences. Hello. Hello. Let's see if I can get up close to them on the water without stepping on any of these fellas. Yeah, so I'm still fighting. A little weird in the water to change colors. Look how orange that one looks. A little fish checking them out. Alright, so I've given the crawfish a few minutes to get settled, to get where they need to be. Uh, looks like that's the carnage of what didn't survive. So those are going to go with me. Do a little bait catch trapping. I'm still going to see if I have the rest of them out here. I can get them in the water. Looks like some still moving barely here and there. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get them out in the water. Oh, yeah. That one way up. There you go, buddy. Get on on. All right, clean up the carnage. And I'm gonna get the trap trap and go set it out here. See if we can catch some turtles. Keeping our eyes out for snakes. I don't like the snakes. I like to kill the snakes. And hopefully, I'm gonna get rid of some of these turtles. Oh, that's good. All right, so I think we should set it first. I can see. Okay. We're gonna go about right like that. Alright. And we're gonna put the stanky stuff right here. Well, I don't want to float. I want the store to stay up in here. Next to the edge. I don't know if y'all can see the turtle trap yet. Just some of these crawls in here, maybe. Dink up the dink up. I'm gonna hook this on here like that. And then let's see. So we got some stinky traps. Hopefully the turtles will swim in here and get the bait. It's partially out of the water, it's partially in the water. So I have some around out there. You see those little bassies over there, a little brown. Alright, let's make our way back out to the truck. Put the ice chest in this in here, lock it up and head it out, and take my gloves off, right, secure, let's secure, see some geese over there, the geese think they're waiting for the feeder to go off so they can eat some food, see if I can get them out here. Apparently they're not afraid of me. All right, let's go wrap it up. Cut this puppy off. Peace. Thanks for watching. Be fishing family. We'll see you next time. Let go of the little fella. Let go of the little fella. Let go of the little fella. That's some wild looking stuff right there. I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed.